Today I will be showing you a healthy stew recipe that I frequently make with a combination of different kind of beans and seasonal vegetables. Hey everyone, Noshkar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. Okay guys, I will be using red kidney beans, pinto beans, black beans, white beans and chickpeas or garbanzo beans. Use whatever you have on hand or a combination of your choice. I always soak the beans overnight with a lot of water along with a tablespoon of salt. Next morning before cooking, always discard all that water and rinse the beans with fresh water. Pressure cooker out because whenever it comes to lentils or beans, you will always see me using a pressure cooker or an instant pot. Beans jump into the pressure cooker along with a teaspoon of salt and 4 to 5 cups of hot water. Lid on and pressure cook it for 20 minutes if using a regular pressure cooker like I am doing or 25 minutes if using an instant pot. After pressure cooking is done and all the pressure has been released naturally, only then open the lid of your cooker. The beans have become perfectly soft, so let's move on to the next step. Pot on medium heat with 3 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil turns hot, lower the heat to low and add a teaspoon of cumin seeds that is jeera. And if your oil is hot enough, then the seeds will be crackling with happiness. But remember guys, the oil shouldn't be too hot because then the seeds will burn and your curry will turn bitter. I added chopped onions. Fry the onions on medium high heat till they turn golden. I do not like to brown up the onions too much for this recipe. This is the color I want. Next I added garlic. Fry for about 2 minutes and then I added fennel. If you do not like fennel then skip it. Fennel is totally optional. You can even use celery. Fry everything for 2 to 3 minutes on medium high heat. Then heat low and add a splash of water. Now hold on, pause the video and type in the comment section that why do you think I added a splash of water. Aha, you guessed it right. Because it is spice time and we add water to prevent the spices from burning. In goes turmeric powder, red chilli powder, ground coriander and cumin. Fry the spices on low heat for a few seconds and then it's time for the tomatoes to enter the pot. Sprinkle of salt that helps in softening the tomatoes. Fry the tomatoes on medium high heat. Then cover for about 2 minutes on medium high heat. I have observed if you cover the pot the tomatoes soften down faster. See how they have turned into a pulp? Ok, now it's time for the veggies. I used pumpkin, carrots, acorn squash and sweet potatoes. I will add a sprinkle of salt and saute the vegetables on high heat. Now guys you can use any vegetables here according to your preference or which are in season. The only vegetable that I do not use in this particular recipe is eggplant. Fry everything for about 6 to 7 minutes on high heat or till all that moisture that comes out from the veggies dry up. Next in line are the cooked beans and they tumble down gloriously into the pot. At this point, mash the beans a little bit with the back of your spoon or a potato masher. Do not mash too much or keep on mashing with all your force. You do not want to make a paste, but that little bit of mashing will bring in a thickness to the gravy. I also added salt, but do keep in mind that you even added salt while cooking the beans. Then I like adding few red chilies, which is totally optional, but adding them whole like this won't make the curry too hot but it will give a beautiful flavor. Ok, cover on and cook on low heat till the vegetables turn tender. Check on the vegetables from time to time. You do not want the vegetables to fall apart. I like adding a sprinkle of sugar to balance the flavors, but it is totally optional. Ok guys, the vegetables have turned tender. Again, you do not want them to turn mushy. They should still be visible and we are not making baby food today. Ok guys, then garam masala powder goes in along with my beloved coriander leaves. And today I am also adding some mint leaves. But it is totally optional and you have this very nutritious 5 bean goodness. I like serving it with chopped red onions on top and a sprinkle of chopped coriander leaves. Bye bye!